Want to tell everybody where we're at? Uh, we're on hole 10 at Papago. We get the back nine out of the way because there's no teeth heads. This is in Tempe, Arizona. There's the front nine, this is the back nine, there's the dump, and then I think we have Santa Claus right down there. Good though for first throw. Forget my, don't let me forget my marker today. I'll do my best. Josh is out drive of the basket here, going back this way. Ryan is going to try his first putt of the day with his brand new putters. Oh, and I like them. Yeah, he likes them, but that was like a five footer for him. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when he gets tested with a headwind putt or tailwind. Just so everybody knows, dad especially, got me some soft lizards now. Went away from the super softs. Still got them in my bag, but using soft ones. All right, next hole. All right. Hole 11. No. Big flare skip down the hill. I thought it was wide enough. Oh, it could ace. Deep. Damn, dude. He's got freaking... Now we get a good shot. A good test of whether or not Ryan likes his new putters. I got 40 feet uphill. How'd that feel? Alright. I'm calling Big Arm Josh today. He's out drove both baskets so far by quite a distance. A little short parked. Hole 12 is a little shorty, 250 foot, but right behind the basket is a nasty drop off. I don't know if I'm getting the baskets in here because, quite frankly, there it is. I'm blind sun behind me. Went down the hill, deep. I don't know what I was thinking there. A little disc change up here. Beat the shit out of this. Give it a safe run. As you can see, it's quite the drop off behind the basket. Think I chained out, bro? God damn it. Hole 13. It says 330 feet. Way off in the distance. Ah, not wide enough. The wind took it. He's down. Not down in the valley. Is 
That is definitely going to be there. This is the terrain out here at Papago. It's an old dump medical facility and bum haven. Let's see if we can scan in on Joshua's disc right there. Parked hole 13. Ryan's down in the shit. We're gonna follow him down for an in-depth, exclusive interview. The man behind the wizard. Usually kick some shit around in here. No, no, I'll be doing the, I'll be doing the shit here, um, sir. What usually goes to your head when you have a putt like this, where you have a bunch of shit around you and well, first thing, looks unmakeable, you know, really. I haven't uh, heard of snakes being out here for a while, but I still like to kick shit around. Winter time, it's winter time. You have to worry about bums. It's got to go through this tree here. Typically, what goes through my mind is, what do I got to do to get my two? Here, I'm gonna show you how these new wizards go in the basket. All right. A little left. Easy, easy three. In Just case you guys, did, in, ca in case in case the audience at home didn't realize the lack of chains ringing in the background meant that he missed it, airballed it, but he still got a he still got that put. Although yesterday it was a little iffy. That. That's how you park this shit right here. Ooh, ow, I hit my head on the basket. Uh, hole 15 is 435 feet up on a boulder. As you can see in the distance. OB is the street over here. Um, it's the long one. Probably the last one we'll show you on this course because we'll keep battery for the back nine. But this is basically the longest hole on on this back nine. Got it out there. Just wanna point out the high quality T signs I got out here. Wooden freaking paper taped on paper. It's pretty cool. That's how we roll out here. Josh is bush hunting today. It's in this here bush. Got his three. This is not going to get in my head. Huh? Is it gonna get in my head? Glittering is broken glass. Come back, baby. Did you just skip off the top of that saguaro? Yeah. It did. We got that on camera. That's fucking awesome. I think it's a penalty stroke if you hit a swore out here. I didn't really hit it, I kind of you know, skimmed off of it. 420 feet. As Ryan likes to say, it's a crush. 
I was just gonna use my Atlas, but since it says crush, how's the headwind, huh? Yeah. It turned into a headwind, which is why. Yep, could have went further right with it, but I didn't know it was that bad out there. Oh well. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Ryan Geyer is going for a huge 100 foot jump putt. It's one of his old black putters and it doesn't 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 look like he's gonna get it. That was a nice try, bro. You got that on camera, right? <laughs> nah. Nah, I, I I didn't think you're gonna make it at all, so I was just pulling around. Hey, you gotta match me, come on. Welcome to the jungle. Nine holes even after nine. Although I think that 400 footer should be a birdie for me with three, but oh well. So here we go. There's a creek that runs along the way. You go on the other side of the bridge there. There's a basket. We're playing pro rules according to the tournament. You can't be left of the sidewalk. You have to be right of the sidewalk and you can't be in water. You can be on the other side of water, but you cannot be in it. I just told him we're playing pro rules. Well, to get to your goal of being a master, you gotta start playing that way. What are you talking about? I'm the one that taught Save us three from here. There's still a little bit of work to do. Good putt. Okay. Oh, foot foul. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You wish. It happens to the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you gotta be left side of the sidewalk. As you can tell, very narrow fairway and the basket's just right up underneath there. To the right, in the shade. I'm just gonna take this route right here. He's happy, he clapped his hands. We didn't see it, but he's happy. It's in bounds, that's all I care about. <laughs> Need me a spot for you, bro? Want me to have the camera up there? Um, no, no. no I, you got this? No, yeah. All right. Why would you need the spot? You want me to turn it over with the tailwind? Mm -hmm. Crazier things have happened. Josh is a little shorter than me. I'm right there, but he's got the better drive than me, so. Well, so out. Are we out. Yeah, you're out. Eleven is in. Is 
Yeah, I'm sure you're probably 34 feet away, so you're good. The wide open putt, so. Bang, bang. How'd that feel, bro? He's happy. I gotta put the pressure on this fool. You guys have, do understand. I don't normally act like this, but only with this guy because this guy kicks my ass so much that I seriously need anything and everything I can get. And right now I wanna thank this tree. Oh, your hands on the branch, sir. Manipulation, manipulation, code, what code violation is that? You just took the exam. Yeah, here we go. There he goes. He's got his position. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Oh, foot foul. Foot foul. Look at that. You see that? He just tore a branch off. God damn it. I, t I told him to buy these putters today, and now I'm kind of regretting it. How's this putter feel? I like him. I like him like him. We have a 392 foot three, but pad in relation to this is really and I have to go up to there because it looks like there's a guy sitting up there I don't know it's okay Andrew just wait till they're finished hello how's it going so we got to go over the creek bed and we have to stay right at the sidewalk to this long pin position which is out by these wheat reeds this is the AMS tea basket and we are actually throwing to the basket that's out there over all this shit that you see here and that is hell right there if you go in there goodbye we got somebody coming in just to give you a heads up I'll yell if you need to jump Pro shot here. You may not see much of it because I'm gonna have to pan away and follow it if it goes into the shit. Okay, he did good. He did good. You know, you just get a meter in, you can't throw from OB. Josh has had a rough go at this hole, but it's time for him to make it up right here. He can get a big putt here and stop some of the bleeding. I want to thank my sponsor, Monster. Just thanking the sponsor, Monster. Hat, that rhymed. When we mean sponsor, we mean, you know, the courage to get this putt in the basket. Good bid. So one, two, three.
Josh takes a 6P, Ryan takes a fucking 2. It's not the worst 6 I've ever taken. <laughs> You're gonna putt with your monster there, bro? <laughs> Well, that was definitely a nice learning experience. If you're gonna go OB twice, you might as well just fucking gun it on the first try. This one's another pain in the ass pro shot. You gotta be right of the sidewalk. It's... And you have to be aware of these guys coming down. The basket is way out there. It's about a 350 foot shot. It's only about 15, 20 feet off the sidewalk. If you're left of the sidewalk, you're OB. If you're in the water, you're OB. And there's the jungle. On the right side there. Where there's plenty of discs. Ryan laced it up the middle. Sick. And I think it did it again. This is the whole that fucked me in that tournament. I'll fucking gladly say that on camera. Tell us, tell us how you really feel, Ryan. This hole is dumb the way it's beep, played. Beep, it fucked beep, me on camera. Beep, or now, beep, yeah, and everything. Fuck, beep, fuck, beep, fuck, beep, fuck, beep, fuck, beep, fuck, beep, fuck. Beep, okay, beep. throw. <laughs> I apologize. I Gosh, damn it. Our pro rock. Do I have him for this reason right here? Throw it straight up the middle, have it draw right. Maybe it goes out of bounds. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, we both went OB. So we take a drop zone here. These aren't the course rules, these are just the tournament we play every year. And these are the pro shots for that tournament. So now you gotta come back here to a drop zone from the sidewalk. And you still have to stay. You basically have to keep throwing from here, right? Until you land in bounds. Yep. You still have to, yeah, you still have to keep throwing from here until you land in bounds. So lucky. lucky. I will lucky. so take the luckiness on lucky, that one. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Why last time I did that, like I said, it ended up hitting a rock and kicking up onto the sidewalk. So I was trying to just kind of roll it down the sidewalk, but it was hyzer too much. Needless to say, it landed in bounds and I'm lucky, so we'll take it. Good stop, good stop. Is this running fast no, it's just the kids freaking being excited. it and that's all you need to do this is how close Josh was in. inbounds he gets a meter in from there I'm gonna walk back to you. Park it right here for your putt. So what is that, a 4P? Yeah. So that's not bad, I went 6P, 6 double P, 4P, on two of the worst pro holes on this freaking course during the tournament. I don't know too many other advancement or masters here. Did well on this course, these two holes. 4Ps. Hole number five, got a newly installed basket. It is probably a 350 plus shot. You can barely see it right through there. It is just parked on the right side or left side of the creek. It is a long bomb. As opposed to the old holes before. Yeah. 
He's out in the open, he's good. He's out in the open, he's good. He's got props from the spectator. That's exactly what he wanted to do. Ryan Geyer, 2013, looking for revenge. You can hear that water. Woo! We're running to the basket. We're running to the basket. We're running to the basket. We're clearing the basket and we're running back because we just made the fucking putt. Yeah. All right, now you got to go make yours. No way. Last few holes have not been very kind for me. This is uphill. You're not going to see the basket. You might see the pole. You can see the pole. Right there. Eyes are in, right? Good? Eyes are in. Hit that tree. So let's see if it made it through the tree or if it was behind it. It, kind of lost it was a lot better in my tournament. So. Kind of lost it. It's all good. Yeah, I birdied this with the summer last time I was here. Those two guys fuck you up. I'm blaming it on them, but it's kind of distracting a little bit. Still gotta make these, still gotta make these, come on. First bad throw of the soft wizard. This is what we gotta deal with right there. Where is it? Hole seven is a 450 foot odd shot. You really can only see, um, there was a pole way out yonder and quite frankly, I don't see it there. So the pole could have come down in the storm that came out last week, but it's in those, it's in those groves. 
these mesquite trees. Then you have this fence line right here that's all OB. Fence line, sidewalk, all OB. Plane should have a putt. <sighs> My problem with this hole is I turn shit over. I turn shit over and it goes that way. So today, I'll try not to turn shit over. How about that? So, hyzer, make sure you hyzer this shit. Lost it. Perfect shot. Ryan came up short again. Story of his life. Well, we hope you enjoyed it because we're down to 16 minutes of battery, so we might have one more hole left. Change. Okay. Nice line. Although, if I'm going to lose a disc, I don't want to lose this katana. Well, we hope you enjoyed this noisy ass course as much as we did. Still very fun. Last hole, 9, 237 feet. And oh, stupid. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It could have went in the water. Had to bring some drama in the last hole, didn't you, Ryan? I didn't know it was going to sail up that fucking high. Ryan takes a 12 on hole 9 to let Josh come back and beat him. All right! Oh! oh, motherfucker, I can rip. It's a damage. Sixty-one. How many shots do you think I'd take off if I just played regularly? How many shots do you think I added playing that pro? Three, probably four. Oh, Zoom. that's an ass kicking right there. Well, good luck finding a ride home, bro. It's a pretty long, far walk. Looks like a sketchy part of town, too. Maybe if you change that score around, I'll be more, more apt to give you a ride home. Maybe if you would have just shot better. Maybe, no, I'm, <laughs> that's, not, that's not, what I'm, it's not what I'm trying to say, bro. Uh, Look. It's too fucking good. All right, peace. Shoot quick and hard. Get all those birdies. That's my best run I shot at.